Well, as we've talked about here this morning, it's a day to stay weather aware. What exactly does that mean? We can't change the fact that strong storms have the potential to roll through today, but we can plan ahead and be prepared. Joined now by Chief Meteorologist James Spann. James, where do we need to be uh, later on today? So, you know, it's interesting, Evan, the Storm Prediction Center, they've been advertising this event for seven days. So people have had a week to get ready. But I want to talk about sheltering real quick. And on this graph, you see on the left, the worst options. On the right, the best options. And the key thing here, if we have a tornado warning polygon, you do not want to be in a vehicle or a mobile home, manufactured housing. And that's the key message here. If you live in a mobile home or a trailer, manufactured housing. You have to know the location of the nearest shelter, have a fairly quick way of getting there, and have transportation lined up if we have rough weather later today. So just please consider that. You don't have to be underground. Uh, you just need to be in a small room, lowest floor, near the center, no windows, and a site-built structure. And of course, in that place, I want everybody to have helmets. Helmets for everybody. That is a key part of being safe during a tornado warning. That really, really mitigates your chance of being seriously injured in the event of a tornado. This is the latest probabilistic outlook from the Storm Prediction Center for tornadoes today. And again, you can see the higher tornado probabilities are over the western half of the state in that hatched area, the yellow area. Area, and that also suggests there might be a strong tornado or two in there. And by definition, that is EF2 or higher. So the entire team will be in the office today and tonight. We'll be watching this thing very carefully. And of course, we'll keep everybody updated. Evan, back to you.